Five fans all over the world is Daddy P with Slap Happy Gorilla. What? Y'all already know David Benavidez is moving forward. He's not waiting around for Canelo. That's the body language that look, Canelo don't want to fight Benavidez. Um, you know, that's just how he's how he's moving, you know. Um and he's not waiting around. That's good. Because guys have waited around on marquee fights or one particular fighter or fighter and it's ruined their careers. Uh namely with Canelo. So kudos to David Benavidez to move on. And he's moving on to one hundred and seventy five pound division. Listen. Alexander Gavostic. This is the guy that he's supposed to face. Um Vosdick, if you don't remember, he was the guy that ended the career of Adonis Stevenson. Um, he beat him from pillar to post. And Adonis Stevenson, you know, he went through a lot. I think he was in a coma for, I can't remember how long, but it was for a long period of time. It ended his career. Um, and y'all know Adonis Stevenson. They used to call him Superman. Um, that was the guy they wanted to fight Kovalev. That never materialized, but Vosdick ended his career. So now, um, Vosdick is not the monster he once was, man. So like the fighter he once was, I say that um, because y'all know he got beat down by Artur Beturvia. Listen, uh, I think it was 2019. He got whipped, man, and he did not return to the ring until last year. Now, last year, 23, he fought three different times, but it was no notable names. It was guys that had horrible records, but it was just to kind of get his, you know, confidence back up, man, because he got beat down by Arthur Beturvia. But, um, you know, for, for uh, Benavidez, I guess this... <laughs> This is good a step up fight as any man. It's not somebody that's high ranking, but it's it'll get him in that in line to fight for, I believe, Bivol, one of Bivol's belts. So, uh, so yeah, it's a it's a good little good little fight to get him started at one seventy five, and um, so I guess we'll never see Canelo, um, Benavidez. <laughs> But uh, Benavidez couldn't make 68 much more anyway. And that's one of the things I said in the past. I believe that Canelo Alvarez was trying to wait him out until either he could no longer make the weight or until he was still willing to fight him, but it was too hard for him to make the weight so that Canelo could have an advantage. Uh, that's been my stance on how Canelo been moving around uh, David Benavidez. So now, um, I guess we'll see who Canelo Alvarez is going to face here on Cinco de Mayo. And then we'll find out, I guess, after that, who he's going to fight in the fall. But um, anyway, we know what's going on with Benavidez. His career is moving forward. He's not just waiting stagnant. And hey, look, it looks like he's going to be up to fight for one of the belts in the division. And this is going to take him into, hey, this could take him into some stardom in this division. This division is kind of quiet because Baturviv and Bivo are just not like marquee fighters that light up on the, you know, that register, uh, you know, anything further than diehard boxing fans. You know, it's a lot of fans that might not know who they are, especially if you're just like casual fans. Um, but these guys are the best of the division. Um, Bevo, a lot of people may know his name ring out because he fought Canelo and beat him. Um, but Turbiev, eh, a lot of people might not know about him. I think they've been keeping their names kind of hushed because of this, uh, Ukrainian Russian war going on. And because these guys are both, uh, from Russia, uh, you know, as far as originally, um, you know, they kind of suppressing their name. At one point, it was said that, you know, those guys couldn't fight in the United States, man. But uh, those guys both now, you know, they don't reside in Russia. 
you know, they don't have anything to do with what's going on with the conflict. Uh, so, you know, don't judge these guys, man. These guys are athletes that's trying to do, you know, better for their own lives. But anyway, this Daddy P, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section, man. What y'all think about David Benavidez moving on from the Canelo Alvarez fight, hoping, wishing, and praying for it, and taking charge of his own career, moving on to fight at 175, and hopefully, hey, within a year or so, um, he'll be fighting for a belt. This Daddy P, like, hate, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down. Daddy P, out of there.